That's a big nasty maple. I think it's five liters in that thing. One of them the toss them broke and it's lodged over there hanging up. Yeah, it's fine in there. Hey, Kevin's here with me. I'm just gonna reach up here and just saw this one and just bomb it right out there toward where Kevin's standing right there. This piece down right here, what I'm fixing to do. And then put you two or three wraps on it there. Just something to hold it. Yeah, do the other one the same way. Wrap it, put it on there, pull all the slack out of it, and put, put two or three wraps on it. No, nah, as long as it's wrapped. As long as you get two, three or four wraps on each one of them. No, nah, you ain't got to do anything. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's fine. It's cut, it just don't know it. Take the blue rope, kid, and let, let a little slack out on it. Take a wrap or so off of it, because what it's doing is that blue and it's holding it right there. And so you're just going to lower some of the rope. Watch the limb up there, see it moving. Just ease it till it, till it snaps. There you go. Easing on down. It's completely free right there. Just keep on letting the slack out on it. There you go. Keep on letting the slack out. It's going to rest right against that tree right there. There you go. All right. So what you got? Huh? Now just wrap it back up. Yep, wrap it back up and just hold it for a second. Now we're fixing a deal with getting this uh, other piece free. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shave through this thing with a pole saw right here. Just on the move. take you can go on down where it's only got about two on it because there's you know, one on it because it ain't got no weight on it go ahead and take another one off See y'all see we had two ropes in it. The red rope was attached to the butt of it and then that blue rope was attached above where I cut it at. And so the blue rope goes back. It's on the mini's blade over there now. That's where it's at. And as soon as I make a, what I've done is I've actually lowered it 
down right now and I'm fixing to make another another cut where to let on down you see it ain't gonna go anywhere fast because this limb over there that other fork of it's gonna brush over on that side and kind of cushion it where it don't move too fast She's all ears. You can take some rats off and lower her down. So once it gets it lowered, then I'll go up there. I've got a pulley up there on the red rope. And then the blue rope is on just uh, one of my speed lines. So he's using a blade just like a porter rat. See it right there? You see, I've got a re redirect up there with that speed line carabiner up there. Just got it choked up there. I'm finna go up there and get all that stuff down there. When that thing gets on the ground, just uh, untie that untie that blue rope completely, Kevin. And uh, and then you'll have to... That's something that stood straight up, didn't it? Ain't that something? Okay, all right. All right. And I'll get this stuff. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to go back to the blade and you'll pull that uh you'll pull that blue root all the way back because it's over a limb up here correct yeah you can take both of them porter rats out and get them get rid of them yeah yeah go ahead and take both of them porter rats you can set them up on the gooseneck or something get them out of the way all right because i'm going to do this pulley and then drop this root you can see it right there Off the dirt, dang! Ain't shot twenty foot up there, did it? Dang! Look, y'all seen that on camera or not? That was cool.
They see, that's what's so cool about it. they're all laying in one pile of butts right there where Kevin can walk up to them and they're laying flat and you ain't wrestling with them at the base of the tree on the porter wrap or nothing. It's just easy, easy peasy. All right, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna drop this spar right here and there, Kevin off the side right here. Cut it. Those, those stems like that, that it wouldn't because it the thing had a lean on it but it had, i guess it had enough weight on its back side of it and you never know until you stick the dang saw in it and you know what it's going to do like now we're uh finna fold the lift up get down and we're gonna clean it up
show you what it looks like. Kevin's blowing the road out if you don't get run over by that pickup truck right there. That's what it looks like. That was one big freaking tree, y'all. Basically five trees in one, that's what it was. So we got her done.